uh, today we will see how we can use prism js to highlight codes for any kind of blog application or something like that so here i have this is my personal blog it's running in localhost and i have written a blog on node.js logging and as you can see that these code blocks are pretty straightforward so there is no kind of uh, syntax highlighting available but we want to improve this and we want to make it appealing to our readers to do that there are multiple libraries but the most popular of them is the prism.js library so what you can do to use it inside your react.js or node.js uh, nest.js application you can add it something like that uh, I have already done that so I am not going to do it so after we install the required dependencies what you can do is you can create a reusable component so this is our code block component so this code block component takes two part one is class name and another is children so for us this children part is the code block that we are going to highlight so this this part is going to be highlighted so this is our code block you can use any kind of uh, reusable components as you like or you can use every time is uh, the prism js instance every time see here we are importing it as prism and inside this use effect block we are initializing it so when the window object is available we are calling prism dot highlight all this will take care of highlighting our syntaxes and uh, let me remove this it will be easier to understand so this part is responsible for showing our code so this children part is the code block and here we are giving a class name this class name contains the name of the uh, language that we are going to be highlighting we have defaulted it to javascript uh, here uh, these class names means we are uh, actually using tailwind css but you don't have to do it only this part is important for understanding so as you can see we are using prism.js and uh, this highlight all is called but still we don't see any kind of syntax highlighting here the reason is we have to import the styles as well so what do you mean by styles if you go to this prism.js themes you will see that there is uh, there are lots of themes here available for us so zonokai atom dark uh, duo tone say something like that so you, you can choose from this list so let's say uh, how we can get the theme so you will go inside this themes directory i will give the link and let's say we want uh, dracula right so you go into dracula and you copy this code okay just copy the whole css file then you go inside your project and inside the styles directory what you can do is for example if you look here inside the styles directory i have created a new file called prism dash dracula.css you can give any name you want and you will paste the whole text that you just copied from here into this file the final part is you have to import this style into your application we haven't done that yet this is a next js application so we usually do this inside our app.tsx file if you are using any kind of react js application you can do this in your index.tsx file so here we can just import the styles and this should take care of our problem and you can see that our code is now nicely highlighted with our atom theme so that is it to summarize it then there are three steps you just install this library then you get a theme add the theme in the style file and import it that's it thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one